Mr. Clellan here from Clellan Maths. Today we're going to be looking at collecting like terms, so that'll be revision for most of us. And then we'll be looking at expanding single brackets. We'll look at a couple of examples, just basic examples of where expanding brackets comes from. Number three, we'll then look at expanding single brackets in the context of then having to simplify our answer. Maybe there's two brackets to expand in the same question. And then the fourth thing we're going to look at today is problem solving. So that would be questions where you have to expand brackets or use algebra, but in the context of maybe shapes and area as well. Okay, let's move on to the first thing we're going to do is we're going to collect in like terms, and this should be revision from last year. So number one, collecting like terms, going straight into an example. Example one says, simplify 3x plus 4y plus 7x plus 3y. So we need to identify which terms are the same. So if I get a highlighter, and you can do this at home, or you could use just different coloured pencils. If I highlight the first term, that says 3x. So I'm now going along the line and looking for another term with x in it. 4y is not it. So I've got plus 7x. Highlight the plus and the 7x. 3y is different again. So I go back to my start and do the same thing. I've got plus 4y, that's one term. And I've got plus 3y, that's another term. So the sum that I'm going to have to do is 3x plus 7x. And I'm also going to have to do plus 4y plus 3y. I've just rewritten it so the x's are together and the y's are together. 3x plus 7x is 10x. 4y plus 3y is 7y. So the answer is 10x plus 7y. Let's look at a second example. So example two says simplify 4a minus 7a squared plus 6a squared plus 2a. You'll notice there's a's in every single term there, but they're not the same. a is one term, but a squared is a different term because it's not exactly the same. So I've got my 4a and my plus 2a. Notice I'm highlighting the plus as well, they're together. And then I've also got my minus 7a squared and my plus 6a squared. They're the same because I've both got a squared. So I can rewrite them. So I've got 4a as the first thing. Then the other yellow thing was plus 2a. Back to the start, I've now got minus 7a squared. And the next purple thing I highlighted was plus 6a squared. 4a and 2a make 6a. Minus 7 add 6 is negative 1, so it's negative 1a squared. We don't need to write 1 when there's 1 of something, so it says negative a squared. a and a squared are not the same term, so we can't add or subtract them, so we're finished. If you are homeschooling and at home, I recommend the National 5 textbook, and it's Lecky and Lecky National 5 textbook. If you can manage to get a hold of that, you would be looking at exercise 3a and it would be page 28 to practice this key skill of collecting like terms. Let's move on to our second thing, expanding single brackets. So when I say expanding single brackets, what I mean is something like a bracket b plus c. And I want to work out what does that equal when I expand it? Now, I can prove something to you to show you where this comes from. So I'm not going to put the answer yet. I'm going to work out the answer using a bit of shape work. So if I take this shape here, I'll just move it up the page a little bit. You'll see I've drawn a rectangle and split it in two places. I've called one area one and one area two. Now, if I label this rectangle with some side lengths, but not with numbers, just with algebra, so if I label this side A, then this side would be B, and this side would be C. And you should be able to see quite easily that this whole length on the bottom would be B plus C. So there's two ways to work out the total area of a shape. The first way I could work out the area of area 1 and area 2, then add them together. And the second way to work that out would be to work out the area of just the whole shape by times in the bottom length, B add C, times A. So if I write that down here, total area 
So the first way I'm going to take the big shape all the way round. So it's A times B plus C. But the second way to get the total area, so it equals, if I look at area 1, that's A times B, so that's AB. And if I look at area 2, that's A times C, so that's add AC. So I've now shown or proved, I suppose, that A bracket B add C equals AB add AC. And it's exactly what we're going to do. Every time we expand brackets, we're going to think it as you times everything inside the bracket by everything outside the bracket. And we'll show that with a few examples. This can get a little bit tricky, but only because you need to watch your signs. So I'm going to give you a, a very good method so that you can't mess up your signs. Okay. And as you get better at these, it gets a lot quicker. So example one says expand three bracket T plus five. So I've got three bracket T plus five equals, well, I need to do three times T. That's three T. Plus I need to do three times five. That's 15. And I just check my answer is 15. It is, so I'm finished times here and I've times here. 3 has been times by t and 5 to get 15 and 3t. Example 2 says expand 8 bracket 3t plus 4y minus 5. In this instance I'm going to slow down a little bit and actually write my intermediate sums so you can see exactly what's happening. So I need to times 8 by all three of these things. So the first one I'm going to do is 8 times 3t. So I'll write 8 times 3t. Always write plus. Then I need to do 8 times 4y. 8 times 4y. And then the last one I'm going to have to do is plus 8 times minus 5. Notice I still wrote plus, but when I came to do the sum, I wrote down what the sign was with the 5. So if there's any signs with the 8 or the 5, I need to write them down. So it's 8 times minus 5. So then I do each intermediate sum. So the first sum I'm going to do is 8 times 3t. Well, that's 24. t plus 8 times 4y. That's 32. Thirty two y. I'll not write down plus yet. I'll check what it's going to be. So I've got 8 times 5 is 40. Plus times a minus is a minus, so it's minus 40. This is where you need to be very careful of your signs. Remember, if the signs are the same in the times together, you get a positive answer. If the signs are different, you get a negative answer. Now, once again, for those who are doing National 5 at home and doing home learning, and they've got access to the National 5 Lecky and Lecky book, then you'll be looking at page 29, exercise 3b but only question one to practice this key skill. Okay the third thing we're going to look at is expanding single brackets and simplifying. So that's just combining step one that we just revised which was collecting like terms and step two which is expanding a bracket. So let's look at an example. So example one says expand and simplify three bracket t plus five plus two bracket t minus 1. So I've got two brackets I need to simplify and expand. So the first thing I'm going to do is just split this question at the plus sign. I'm going to deal with it as two separate things. I'm going to do 3t plus 5 and 2t minus 1 and then combine my answer. So pressing equals, I do 3 times t, remember, which is 3t. I do 3 times 5, which is plus 15. Moving across the side, other side, I've got 2 times t, that's plus 2t. Then watching my sign here, I've got 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. And then just to remind us, how do we then simplify? Well, we get a highlighter. The first term is 3t, the next term is plus 2t, they're the same. And then my other highlighter, say yellow, I've got 15, I've got minus 2, so I can rewrite this whole thing as 3t plus 2t plus 15. Take away 2. So the final answer, 3 plus 2 is 5t. 
15 minus 2 is 13, so plus 13. And that's as finished. 5t add 13. Let's look at now another example. So example 2 says, expand and simplify. This time we've got a bracket 2b add 5 plus b bracket 7 minus 2a. We do it exactly the same way. There's nothing more complicated other than the fact that there's maybe more than one letter in this one. So I'll take my red pen and I will cut it here. That's where I'm thinking I've got two brackets now to simplify and expand. So I'll do the first one, a times 2b. Well, that's 2ab. When we're doing algebra and we're times and letters together, we always start with putting the number first and then the letters in alphabetical order. So a times 2b is just 2ab. a times 5 is 5a. And that's me done my first bracket. So I move to my second bracket. b times 7. Well, that's 7b. b times minus 2a. Be very careful. I've got a plus and a minus. So the answer is negative. 2 comes first. a, then b. And now we simplify it the same way we always do. So get in my highlighter. The first term is 2ab. So I'm looking for another term with a and b in it as well. Not that. Not 7b. Minus 2b is my next one. And now go ahead and do the same. The next term that is there is plus 5a. I look along and see if there's anything else with just a's. There is nothing. You really don't have to then do this, but the last term is plus 7b. You can see here that that's, again, there's nothing else the same as it. That's already simplified. So the only things I have to simplify are the 2a minus the 2b. So if I rewrite it, I've got 2ab minus 2ab. Then I've still got plus 5a. I've still got 7b. So it should be obvious that 2ab minus 2ab is nothing, so I don't have to write anything. So the final answer is just 5a plus 7b. Okay. Again, for those of us who are doing homeschooling and we've got the Lecky and Lecky National 5 textbook, here is the page numbers. It's page 29 to 30, exercise 3b. And you will be starting at question two, but only doing two question five. So question two to five. Next thing. And the last thing for this video. Problem solving. Example one says, write down an expression for the area of the parallelogram and simplify. So there's our parallelogram underneath here. Write down an expression for the area of the parallelogram and simplify. I'll move it up a bit. With these types of questions, it can sometimes be hard to know where to start. So we look at our question first to see, is there anything in the question that gives us a clue what to do? Nine times out of ten, it's combining algebra with some sort of shape work. But it says, right, there an expression, so something to do with algebra. For the area, well, that's shape work. If I highlight that, we've got area of the parallelogram and simplify. So since we, it's area, we can write down area is length times breadth. Now, if this was numbers here, if it was number four on the bottom and two up the side, I would just do four times two and is eight, no problem. But since it's algebra, I'm going to have to write it down algebraically. So if I call 4b my length and I call 2b plus 3 my breadth, then substituting that in, I always write down the single thing first because I'm going to need to use a bracket. So 4b bracket 2b plus 3 length and breadth. And now it says I have to simplify it somehow. Well, I've got an expression. Remember, an expression is just a bit of algebra. It's got a bracket, so to simplify, we've done do what we did in the previous examples. We expand the bracket. So 4b times 2b equals 8b squared. 4b times 3, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 12b those two terms are different, b squared, remember, and b are not the same term. So I've now simplified it. I am finished. Okay, let's look at another example exactly the same way. Okay, example two says, write down an expression for the area of the triangle and simplify. So 
that's the same thing again. I have to identify what the question is actually asking me. It's something about area. So if I was doing this just with numbers, I would write down the formula for the area of a triangle. Area is a half the base times the height. So identifying our base, 6t add 5, well that's my base, and 4t is my height. So substituting that in, it's a half times. Now the base and the height, doesn't matter what order you write them in, So because we're timesing them. So I'll write the height first because that's the simplest thing. So it's a half times 4t times, so I'm opening a bracket because 6t plus 5 is a two terms. 6t plus 5 because the 4t has to be times by both 6t and 5. Simplifying that I can do my half of 4t first to get 2t bracket 6t plus 5. Now I've got a algebraic expression with a bracket so I'm going to have to expand it. So 2t times 6t is 12t squared. 2t times 5 is 10t. Those two expressions again are different, t squared and t are not the same, so now I am finished. And that is a brief introduction to everything to do with expanding brackets and simplifying, but just a single bracket. So for those of us with the National 5 Lake and Lake textbook at home, if you want to practice the problem solving, it would be exercise 3b, page 30, and you'll do questions 6 to 9 for this topic. Okay, thank you for watching this video on expanding brackets. Hopefully you've now revised collecting like terms, you've revised problem solving single brackets and simplifying. Please like and subscribe if you want some further help on this topic. Later on in the next video, we will be doing double brackets, which is a key skill at National 5 level. So keep an eye out for that one next week.